We are going to briefly discuss the keys and controls you will find on the Focus Blue 5th generation Braille display. We'll begin by exploring the top surface of your Focus Blue. The refreshable Braille cells are located at the front of the unit. You will feel a line of Braille cells with the pins slightly raised. When the unit is powered on, the pins will be fully raised or lowered to display the needed Braille characters. Immediately behind the line of Braille cells is a line of cursor router buttons. At either end of the Braille line is a nav rocker. Above each nav rocker is a nav mode button. Each nav mode button is located at either the left or the right end of the line of cursor router buttons. Positioned directly behind the cursor router buttons is the Perkins style braille keyboard. The small horizontally elliptical button located between dot keys one and four is the menu button. The menu button is used to access the focus configuration menu as well as display focus status information during an active USB or Bluetooth connection, specifically with the Focus 40 Blue itself. Notice that the controls on the front panel of the Focus 40 Blue are arranged in a symmetrical pattern. The controls on the left side of the front panel are a mirror image of the controls on the right side of the front panel. At the extreme left and right ends of the front panel are the panning buttons. Pressing them allows you to pan backwards and forward through a file or document. Moving inward are the left and right rocker bars. These are long horizontal rockers. Pressing the top or bottom edge of these rockers will allow you to navigate up or down a line at a time through a file or a document. Moving inward again are the selector buttons. These small square buttons can be easily identified by their concave caps. There are two square buttons located side by side at the center of the front panel. These are the left and right shift buttons. The left and right shift buttons are on a flat vertical surface, which makes them stand out from the rest of the front panel controls. On the left side of your Focus Blue Braille display, you will find the power button and the USB port. Moving from the front to the back of the unit, you will first find the power button. This button is located below the left bumper of the Braille display. It may be a little difficult for some people to find because it is located in that recessed space below the Focus 40 Blue Braille display's left bumper. You must press the power button for about two seconds to turn the display on and for about three and a half seconds to turn it off. Immediately behind the Focus 40 Blue's power button is the USB Type-C port. The USB-C port is used specifically for charging and for direct connection to the Focus Blue Braille display. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.